we'll be home. We're here just dropping some makeup bombs. So you can have you looking bomb. Yo. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well. Today I'm joined by a special guest. Hey! Gilan. Remind me? Gilan. Gilan. Because I've been calling her Ghislaine the whole time. Everybody calls me Ghislaine. I know, name. but I want to call people by their actual names it's that their mothers the gave them. I don't like calling them by societal names. That's what my dad also gave me. But yeah, it's her two pronunciations, but otherwise, anyway, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, happy to be here. Um, we filmed a video on her video as well, but that on her video on her channel as well, but that will be out in a couple of weeks. Yes, Women's Month. In Women's Month, um, but we this one is going up now because I because Cynthia's like that because <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> We're just gonna chat, get ready with us. Even if I've got nowhere to go, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy to do the, the the chat, get ready with Cynthia. Yeah, it's just a super chill, super chill bed. I guess today we're going to be chatting about stuff. Stuff. And things. But we're going to lead off with oversharing on social media. Because I did see this morning I was doing a little browsing. And I saw that Kylie oh. Oh. posted a photo of herself talking about she goes through anxiety because she's been followed by millions of people since she was a child, blah, 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 all of these like things and stuff that she was sharing. Imagine, she's got like what, 140 something million, million people. And I was reading the sure. comments, because I immediately went to the comments, because I know people mm. just nitpick on every single thing. I was like, there's no way she posted this and didn't get flagged for it. Yeah. So I'll go read the comments and like people are saying, all of her friends are saying, oh, you're so, like, we love you, blah, 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 because obviously, Close people will know exactly what yeah. she's talking about. Especially the anxiety. Exactly. And then there's the other people who don't know Kylie, who don't know anything about her life or situation, who say you have no right to feel the way you feel because you are rich. Yeah, nobody, like, pain is pain. Yeah. Pain is pain. Pain is pain. And yeah, I feel like anxieties are caused by different factors. Yeah. Not everyone's... Not everyone feels... Yeah, we're all triggered differently. We're all triggered differently. And for her, it could be... She just said it's eyes on, on her, her. And people are going in on her. Like, say you don't have... So, yeah. So, we're just going to talk about social media in terms of, like, that. In terms of, like, your personal feelings. Your, like, all of that. Relationships as well. Family. Do you show your family? Do you, you feel know? like you're at a crossroads about that? Um, in terms of what... Are you feeling like you, you want to share more, but you maybe have reservations? Um, I don't feel any pressure to share um, anything because that's just not my character. I feel like even before, in, even before like Instagram or whatever. Oh, we know. Oh, <laughs> we know. So Facebook. Um, I never, I never said anything like in a relationship with. You never gave your relationship status. I never did. I just never did. Like I never caught on to that whole thing of like sharing every single thing. I'll post a picture too. But what, what do you think about people that that share everything? I think they're very brave. I think it's very brave, but I feel like brave, but I feel like you're playing with fire, because now. Because the kind of consumer of social media that I am is, if I followed your journey, and you mm -hmm. touched on this on your video, if I followed your journey, um, I want to know everything then. Like, take me through, you guys broke up, you don't have to tell me the details, I don't need to know your whole relationship because you probably never did share all of your, your relationship before, but I... I feel like I want to know that you broke up and <laughs> I want to know what your blood type is. <laughs> I want to know what you ate for breakfast. But I'm saying this with the knowledge that like I know it's actually none of my business. Even if you did share everything, yeah. you don't have to share when something, when, when you're not together anymore. Like I'm saying this knowing that it's actually dumb for me to even... Yeah, but that. the expectation. But is the there. expectation is there, when you, and that's why I feel you like you know this. We've seen, we've seen relationships like 
Especially like when people break up, it's like mad, man. It's mad. And it's mad. I feel like there are some of the people who do break up and they take it to social media and it turns super ugly. Yeah. It's always with anything. Can I like, try the tape method today? Yes. Because I've never tried it. It always turns and I've never seen it come out like hunky dory. But yeah. You know. Whether it's a friendship or like two lovers. I just I've never seen him come seen it come out like I was just watching, I just, just discovered this girl on my YouTube, you know, from the recommended list. Some Asian American chick and the video that was recommended for me was finally ready to talk about it. So I was like, oh dear, here we go. I don't know her from Jack, I don't know her, I've never watched the videos, I don't know who she is. And then it sounds But I clicked awesome. on it. But also her title was asking you to click her, on it. Her title was asking to click on it because I was, I had the first time I've seen it, I seen it a couple of days ago. And in like one day, she had received like three hundred thousand something views. So I was like, okay, this must be somebody. Either <laughs> either people really know her, or the people are followers or whatever, and they were really interested or not. But she has like something like eight hundred thousand subscribers. So I guess she actually oh, has a pretty big following. So I was reading the comments, and the comments were saying, "I've never heard of you before. I just <laughs> saw this on my recommended list, and I clicked on it." and wow well, feel your pain so essentially she oh, was going through sweet. a breakup and she's been dealing with the breakup for like five months now and she's basically finally ready to talk about it and like if it were me i don't know i just i don't know what i would do this whole sharing you doomed if you don't doomed if you do mm -hmm. i feel like so will you ever show us your bae um i don't think so i mean i've shown him like you've, you've seen glimpses of him in my vlogs mm -hmm. and stuff like that and on my Instagram and whatever and I'm, it's not forced like if you see him you see him if you don't you don't yeah. you know what I'm saying like I'm you not gonna do like a meet my boyfriend boyfriend tag <laughs> we're, we're not doing that I think we're a little bit grown yeah. <laughs> there's like there's no need like there really is no need and babe I'm not safe Joshua! Oh my god! Who does that? I, I'm trying for the for the for the people. I'm sure you've you've would you the, would you you've gotten this question a lot. So I'm just thinking maybe you've thought about it. Um, I have and I won't. My decision is that I will. I won't like. I won't mm. like do a whole introduction video. I don't but think you're not gonna necessary. hide him. But, you're not gonna, yeah. but I'm not gonna hide him as well. Like yeah. if you see him, you see him. If you don't, you don't. But I'm not gonna also put the camera in his face. Yeah, fair play. As well. I think people should be allowed that like privacy because with when you watch things go down, you get so scared. You're like, oh my exactly. god, like what are they gonna say? What if they say something and you know? Mm. And then the expectations come up. Would you ever show your man? Cause you're I mean, more committed than me. Like I'm in a I'm in a committed relationship. But yeah, are you, can, are I, can, can I say that you are? Yeah, I'm engaged. She's engaged. To That's what I mean. Engaged. To be married. And so you I, haven't really shared that on your, sh on your on your socials as well. I mean, she wears her engaged. Wow. She wears her engagement ring. Like she takes. She doesn't take it off for pictures. Do you? You don't. No. Like you, she she's an engaged woman, but she hasn't really done. I mean, my court girl, my court girl. <laughs> but she doesn't really show. Yeah. You don't really show your man on social. You show him on Insta stories if he's there, right? Yeah. Like it's not a. I mean, if we hang out together, we hang out together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. But Is there I, a reason why you haven't shared about him on social? I guess I just you know it depends on what what your what your brand is. I I do like makeup, lifestyle, travels. So I just I don't know. I like to share my passions there. And although I'm passionate about him, I guess I'm gonna say I'm just oh, I don't know. It's just I thought about it and I'm just I'm just like oh gosh. Honestly, I'm scared of being that someone going in on him or being judged on anything. Is it because you're in an interracial relationship? Not just that, just because I don't want people to think like to have expectations of me not posting like, all, the all the time and and then like, oh, why aren't you posting him? Have you guys broken up? Yeah, 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 exactly. 
And you know, not that that is like, why do you act like that? But it's just the way it is. That's what I is. think. Like, if I follow someone and I'm so used to seeing your man, you and all of a sudden, like, you're not posting anymore, I have questions. Yeah, and we want answers. And we want answers, exactly. which I don't really have the right to even ask. Yeah. Ask for. And I love to. I don't want. I don't want to live my life in this in the screen. I love to have my life outside of that and hang out outside of that without the phone. Mm. You know, mm. I, love to have, I don't want everything to be documented. Yeah. That's me too. Like if I'm on a weekend away or um, a lot of the time when I'm with Bay, I. I don't, I'm not on my phone. Mm. Like, even if it's just a simple dinner or it is just yeah. like, you know, a little road trip or whatever. Like, yeah. I, nice I want that really time. Yeah. yeah, I like I like that time. Just like us. And I couldn't, like, date someone who was doing the social media thing. We can't both be on our phones. What if there are many couples in the US? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are many couples no, in the US that, like, the girl started as a blogger, obviously. They're married. Yeah. It gets the guy gets the blog gets the blogging. Like this girl in, in the UK called Lydia. Lydia Elise Milen. I love her so much. I love her content. Like her it's it's like a whitish uh, palette that she has on her page. Yeah, it's I yeah. She um she's a luxury blogger and her husband obviously he's actually an ele electrician by trade, like that's what that was his profession and then he got into blogging as well. And he has a successful social media presence now as well. Okay, fair, fair play. So they are both into that. Like, they do campaigns together. They travel together. Yeah. All you of do things. need someone like that. Like, I guess you have to have a partner that compliments you if you're in this realm. Like, Daisy Perkins, her husband takes all the content. and. But I'm just... But even with that, my my worry now is... When, it's, when are you home? Like, yeah. when, when are you home? When do you separate, when work, you separate from, work from... From love, like exactly. are you sitting in bed talking about your next project? Yeah, we're not sharing our men. No. <laughs> okay, but that's the relationship aspect. Now, what about like mental health challenges and stuff? Because I'll be very honest with you guys. Like, I've touched on a bit of. I mean, I I hate I I hate. I'm not well versed in mental health narrative. I don't yeah. know much about it. I would. So you've never had like anxiety and that sort of thing? I, 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 I haven't have been diagnosed. I've, I haven't been diagnosed with anything. I've never been to a psychiatrist, a, psycholo a, a psychologist to talk about anything mm -hmm. before. Um, I felt like I, I need to. <laughs> Everybody I, needs to. I, I do need to and I'd love to. But I cannot tell you that like I'm someone who suffers from like depression or mm -hmm. like anything like mm -hmm. that. So I've always been wary i've always steered clear of that conversation on okay. my channel and i've also steered clear of claiming to be someone who has anxiety yeah. or claiming to be because i don't know i have feelings of anxiousness but i cannot tell you that i yeah. have a panic attack do you know what i'm trying to say so when it comes to that and and people sharing because i mean there was a trend for a while on on youtube people were talking about i'm depressed i'm this i'm this and that and i never want to like downplay anyone's mental health or like how they're feeling or situation because and i would never want to say like you don't feel a certain way like everyone's feelings and emotions yeah, are valid. valid yeah that's what i honestly believe but now my question is for a while when all of that all those conversations were popping up so much left right and center part of me was like oh, okay more people are feeling more like more people are feeling courage to talk to about come out and to come and that's why they were all happening at the same time but then i felt like but is this clout chasing to be part of bandwagon or do you really actually feel that way because i feel like words like anxiety depression all of those things are thrown around a lot with people not really knowing what they yeah. actually are saying so, so that's why it's good to be a conscious follower of somebody we can't, you know, you know, like we have to actually know, you know, what we are subscribing to. And you click the follow button, like, what exactly are you follow? Like, yeah. what exactly are you opening up yourself to? Yeah, it's, I, I don't think you should just follow someone just because they said A, B, and C. And I think also just with regards to to us following people consciously, I think 
and it, it will reduce a lot of social anxiety because statistics do show that the that social media does unfortunately cause a lot of anxiety and i was wondering like why is that i think because we follow people and then we just see the accolades we don't mm. see the journey like they don't show everything maybe maybe you just see the car and you start comparing your life and you know exactly like, how many sleepless nights did that car take to you yeah you know and no one really posts their yeah. bad days their failures people post when things are well majority of people post when things are popping People hardly post about, oh my god, I had such a shit day, guys. I've got four rand in my account. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do for rings next month? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. no one... How many posts have you seen that are like that? Exactly. But also, like, it's what we endorse. Like, people... Do the people want to see that, really? Do, do you guys want to see people really, really share their true selves? Themselves. Because things that go viral and they have the most likes on don't indicate such. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I feel like this conversation went super dark, super yeah. quick. I think we need to bring it back. Let's bring it back. Yeah. So, what foundation are you using? Let's have a look. I am using. It's this actually a good match. Cover girl, yeah, because you guys, I forgot my foundation. She forgot her foundation today, so I gave her this cover girl. I just sort of guessed what her shade might be. And the shade is. It's at the back, I think. D50. Deep golden. Ooh. Deep golden. Oh, it's so chocolatey. <laughs> do you think it's dark? What do you mean chocolatey? I love it. It's like really? chocolate. It's rich. Yeah, and rich. So I'm using um some new foundations from Dior today. Um, I'm mixing the two because I don't have my shade, and I really and I've been avoiding testing this up because I don't have my shade. Um, so I'm just gonna mix the two together. It's six n and four four point five n. I am usually five this. n. And because yesterday I told you that I didn't like the foundation I wore, it was too matte, so I want to go for something a bit more chewy. Okay. That's why I am. Is it full coverage? For this today. Um, I think, yeah, it, it might be. Wow, where did that bird come from? Yeah, I'm sure. Do you land? Yes. It's going to London tomorrow, I'm so jealous. Wednesday. I'm going to London on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah to today drink, today. eat, and live my best life. Today is Tuesday, so she's going tomorrow. I'm so jealous. I still tomorrow. <gasps> yes, I'm going tomorrow. I need to pack. <laughs> I was saying to her like, oh my god. I was saying to her, I still have my UK visa, and it's just staring at me like. Take me! I think you should go. I have responsibilities. I really don't have responsibilities. I really don't. And like, I don't have kids. No, you know what I'm I saying? You should go. Oh my god, kids. Do you want to have kids? Yeah, of course I do. How many? I want to have three. Three. I would love two twin boys and one girl. <laughs> two and twin boys? Two twin boys, oh, and I want the girl to be the younger one. So I want her to be the youngest. Cause I liked being I liked being the younger sibling and I loved being a girl because I felt like I was literally spoiled. <laughs> oh gosh! So and do you guys do you have twins in your family? We have twins in my man's family, and his lineage is that like every other grandchild has had a twin. Yeah, my so, family also has twins. So the chances are pretty high. Yeah, because I just don't want to do this pregnant thing twice. I just want two I mean, children. How many kids do you want? Two. I used to want more. I used to want like four or five. How many siblings do you have? Four. Well, my brother is like, he's the last, well, he's, he's eight years old, so he was an afterthought. Don't <laughs> tell him. <laughs> Don't tell him. Just put it on the internet. <laughs> so I always considered myself like, I'm basically like his mom. Mm. <laughs> oh, me. And I remember I was walking around with him and they go, oh, whose child is that? It's like my brother. And they're like, stop lying. It's okay. I'm like, <laughs> My brother and my mom and when my mom says it's her son, they think no, she's lying for one of us. Yeah, she's, she's like grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, wow. So yeah, I, and there's also loads of twins. My cousins are twins. My in my dad's family, there's twins, and the generation below that, my cousins. My cousin also has twins. My other cousin had two pairs of twins. Um, but I don't know if two pairs of twins is a good. What? Oh my god! Imagine you have a pair of twins and then boom, another pair. Oh, you see, that's that's the thing. 
That's what I don't want. Is I it? just want one set of twins. I don't want three. I don't okay. want. I don't want my next eight. <laughs> Wedding mean, plus eight. <laughs> have you heard those stories of like, like a family? I've heard these stories before where a family was trying, right? Mm. And for were, years, for years, years, and no, no, not trying to be baby, but like they, they all, they only had boys. So the wife only had boys, like three boys. And she's like, I'm just gonna try one last time for a girl, one last time. And then she gives birth to like triplet boys. Don't taste God. Don't taste God. Don't, Don't taste, taste God. God. Imagine. Oh Lord, you see. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm afraid of. Like, I don't want to have twins first, and then... <laughs> no, I think it's better to have twins first, because my cousin had a, had her one first, and then the next pair were twins, whereas if she had twins, would she have had another one? I also love day drinking. I love day drinking, because you still get her... So, you maybe want to chat some more, whatever, but then you still get your good night rest, and then the next day... Yeah, I'm so jealous of this babe going to London tomorrow. I wish you like had made up your mind and then I could have been there. But remember we spoke earlier saying we should go to Paris this year. I told you my dates. You didn't tell me your dates. I told you the dates. I told you the last two weeks of, of um, July. And then I must have forgotten. What? If you were an animal, which you are already, <laughs> would be a lion. A lion. Why? Because I'm a leader. I'd be an elephant. My favorite animal. Really? What do you I like love, about them? I just love the way they move with such poise. They're like unbothered. They're oh just God. like boom, boom. And then like, just, you know. And I they, guess they are like majestic. Like yeah. when you see them, you like stop. Yeah, you're like, wow, they're captivating. Yeah. They're like, you know, they, they like say so much by not doing much. <laughs> and then also, baby elephants are just the cutest. Hello. Have you seen them bath? Trying oh to bath in so like a cute. Tub. It's the cutest shit you've ever seen, bro. Oh. <laughs> so if you were doing makeup, what would you be doing? Career wise? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like I'd be a psychologist. Child psychologist? Uh, no. I doubt. I think I would actually be a criminal. A criminal psychologist. Talk to serial killers. Why? Because I'm obsessed with them. I mean, I do. I get lost in that. Like, channel. I get lost, oh, in, lost in crime investigation. I watch. I've watched every single Netflix documentary. It's great. It's serial killers. Yeah. Ted Bundy. <laughs> like, I've watched Dude, it all. How sick was Ted Bundy? He was disgusting. And then, but you know what I hated about the documentaries that they kept saying, "Ted, I'm not going to reveal too much for those of you who haven't watched." Because I haven't watched that, <laughs> but oh. I watched a little bit, and they kept saying, Ted Bundy, charming, handsome, Ted Bundy, charming, handsome. I'm like, so what if he's handsome? He's a serial killer. killer. Why, why are they focusing on he's his degraded. handsome charms? Because, so weird. because the narrative of, and I studied sociology, I did an exam on this. I, this is what we learned. I don't want to get into this. <laughs> I don't know how to put this in. But when you have a... And I hate to say it, but it's fact. When you have a criminal who is non-black and a criminal that is black, mm -hmm. non-black bodies are valued higher than black bodies. Yeah. Historically. Historically speaking. And it's even perpetuated a bit in society today, right? When you have a black man and a white man both accused of raping we talked about this of raping a woman a white woman for example the white man the way his headline in the newspaper is boy from a good family chose the wrong path or he suffers from depression like there's an excuse almost made it pisses me off i swear and then for the black guy it is not, not it's not even the case of delving into his past no it is straight murder sentence yeah um this is it not even anything about his upbringing or how he was perceived in yeah. his society and, and, and truthfully they should both go to hell like, they, should both they should both go, go to hell. hell but unfortunately the the, the media does romanticize the they thing. do romanticize yeah. oh no he's been through a he's lot he's been through a I lot 
Is your parents were divorced at, at when he was three? I Bruh. don't care. Mm, I so care. that's why I want to get into criminal psychology because that is not a reason for me as to why you did what you did. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're full of crap. You're full of crap. And, and so with the Ted Bundy thing, I just feel like... Yeah, I think they were. It was a bit. They like, didn't really romanticize, and and also they just do created a movie. They haven't released it yet. Zach Efron. And they used um Zach, Zach Efron. Efron. And I'm like, why are you why are you doing that? Do you know? What and I mean? like, he was and he was put under fire because they said that they're romanticizing a depraved, psychotic human being by doing this film. And and you know, like the many like mass murders and mass shootings and stuff that happen. In, in schools in in the US you know there was talk about how in the articles that talk about because it's all it's all it's most of them are Caucasian shooters mm -hmm. the articles are always the the headlines talk about the shooter mental illness no, mental illness whatever when no attention Shoot. little attention is paid to the victims yeah and the shooters are being romanticized the shooters are being sort of like put on this sort of like you know, getting getting the spotlight when they are victims' families who have literally lost children. children. And this is why I can't I can't even study them because I don't want to know what sicko is out there. But then, do you know what else I like to watch is those prison stuff. Shoot, and I'm like, I never want to go to prison ever. Have you watched Jailbird on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't watched it yet. I feel like I need I need to be in the right space. Yeah, yeah I know. No. You can't just watch that. Yeah. Like, I'm traumatized, man. I have to go to bed and be like, yeah, the world is finished. What else are you watching currently on Netflix? Oh, Stranger Things is out. Ugh, I got over it real quick. Wow. Like, I don't know, like, the first season I binged it yeah. and I really got into it and then... I think they ruined it in the other season because of, I don't know, the part where they bought other new people here and then they had, like, superpowers and it just looked like x -Men. I didn't watch second season at all. So I feel like... watching? I'm not watching anything right now. I'm watching, I'm watching reruns of The Office. Because I love The Office. I'm actually watching The Office deleted scenes. <laughs> oh, you are committed. I, I love that I've watched it like a hundred times. I finished The Society ages ago. Have you watched The Society? No. You told me to watch it. I was going to ask you what your recommendation was the other night. Um, society, I binged it. They've renewed, been renewed for a season two, thank God. Skip it a ba ba ba! I feel like if you went, if you went to be a blogger, you'd want to be a singer. I really do want to be a singer, but. <laughs> my mom told me I can't sing. And At least just, your mom told you the truth. She was just like, stop. Like, you can't sing. This is, that is my mom. That is my mom growing up. Oh my god, why do you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the mom that tells my children to sing. That's not for you, babe. No, I wish my mom was more like, you can do anything that you oh, put your mind to. Please, this is why you have people going on idols acting like they can sing. <laughs> and they're wasting all of our time. No. <laughs> No, my mom is real, like, she will tell you to your face, like, I remember my, this other girl who I know, she came over to my house, and um, she was wearing this lipstick that didn't really suit her, <laughs> but I never really want to tell you don't wear your lipstick, you know what I'm saying, like, if you feel so like you look fly, fly you look fly, and she had been doing that before I met her, so why am I going to be the one to be like, she's a grown ass woman, can you pass me, can I also use yeah. her Johnson & Johnson? So, my mom goes, why do your lips look like that? <laughs> what are you wearing on your lips? It doesn't suit you. I'm just like, oh, oh my god. god. Please, don't do this. And you're sitting there, your friend is probably staring at and you. And she's just like, is this what you brought me to your house for? <laughs> <laughs> just like, and I would just be like, mom! And my friend goes, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> There's no stopping Isabel, trust me. And it's the point too where like in any time we have friends come over when we were younger, me, me and my brother would just give them a warning. Like, please. Just don't take anything she says to heart, like it's just how she is. Like we'd always prep our friends, like don't don't take it, don't take it to don't take it personally. She's just a, she just will make an observation and so yeah. Listen, comedy is African people, man. We just say what we say, you know? We say what we say. Alright, 
Are we done? It's done. So that wraps up this video. Um, I feel like you look so beautiful. I feel like you look so beautiful. I feel like you look beautiful. Oh, I feel like you look beautiful. I feel like you look beautiful. No, stop it. <laughs> Babe, oh my gosh, this was so much fun. First time, and even with the adversities of the camera, the memory cards, the memory cards, so all of that, we're still, we're still got it done. So, thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link Ghislaine's channel down below and all of her socials. As I said, her video is only coming out in a couple of weeks' time, so... Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see that. So that'll be amazing. Yeah. That was also a ton of fun. We popped some champagne. Yes, and you dropped the whole glass. I, no, that was for my video. Oh. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you subscribe to Justine's channel as well. And her Instagram as well. <laughs> it is on point. Thank you so much. Content creator. That's Yay. what this is right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you soon. Mm.